Hello, today we're going to talk about the Zoom H1 recorder. It's a little device that lets you record your lecture and then put it onto Blackboard or somewhere else on the internet. So let's have a look at this and see how to operate it. The first thing I'd say is that it's really good practice to plug headphones in so that you can listen to the quality of the audio that uh, you're recording while you're doing it. Um, and to turn it on, there's a little slider just on this side here. So we pull that and then we see it turns on. Now, something to keep in mind with the headphones is that there's a line out plug on the left, that's where the headphones go. There's another plug on this side for an external microphone. So make sure you plug it into the line outside. So recording is as simple as pressing this button. Hello world. And then you press this button again to stop recording. That's it. Um, and what we can do is um, upload those files via by plugging it in via a USB cable here. So you can just plug it into your computer and use it as an external device. Or you can get the SD card out here. Keep in mind it's a micro SD, so you'll need to use the adapter that comes with the unit. So let's look at some of the audio options you have available. So on the back here, we can choose whether to record in MP3 or WAV format. MP3 is probably the one you'll use most of the time. Keep in mind that WAV is a better quality and you'll be able to edit the audio more easily if you use WAV format. Um, auto level, it's probably best to leave that on because if you turn that off you'll need to keep an eye on your levels which are here these here, and just make sure they don't go too high or you'll um, or the recording will be of poor quality and you change the levels here input level so you can see here I'm clicking it up and that's changing the volume of the recording that's a keep in mind that there's a different volume setting on this side which is for listening but let's leave that off because that's something we need to we don't really want to have to keep track of that too much um, and the other setting that's good to have is low cut and that just gets rid of some of the background noise one tip about noise with this unit is that if you move your hand around, you slide your hand around while you're recording that noise will be picked up by these microphones which are here um, so it's probably best to keep your hand still. We'll put it on a shelf or a table about 20 centimeters away from your mouth or you could borrow one of our mini tripods which um, can be screwed into this hole at the back here. Now to turn the unit off all we need to do is do the same thing we did to turn it on and we just pull it around to the side here hold this down and you can see it says goodbye.